morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Jad. I want to welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die. This is Darkness Falls Sorcery Mod. And it is day three. If you, if you missed the second episode, just to give you an update, the fire quest is broken, and that's because I'm on a random gen map, according to Atkins. And what he said to do, just, just bypass it by downloading the fire elixir. And... The quest chain should have got me to level 7. So that's what I did. I, 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 I put in enough fire elixirs to get to level 7 to account for the quest chain, and that's it. The rest I have to do. Okay, I've got to earn the rest of the points. So, been kind of busy. Made a lot of fire essence. Went out with both the, with the wood cutting mod and the essence mod. Came back with quite a bit. I created all the spell arrows I can with the feathers I had. Okay. And we're pretty much set. But we're going to do a little building today. Uh, Food-wise, we're good. I got food on me and drink. So I've already chosen a spot and I've actually gotten started. Okay, just didn't mark it on the map, but the one thing I didn't do was get rid of this. I hear you. You interrupted my chopping or my picking all right uh, for yeah, no. all right so there's the basic idea and I didn't even finish digging all the way around this is the back Okay, this will be the entrance coming off the street right there. Where these two are at, coming from the ceiling down, will be a pole, will be a, a pole, and at the appropriate height will be blades. Okay, and coming through basically one, two, three, four. Okay, basically four. Um, Electric fence post. Okay. So, what I had, what this is here, what I was digging here is the outer wall. Getting it set. Those blocks are just my placement blocks, so I know where everything's at. So, if that's the entrance right here. This back here gets an additional, that's going to be a wall, then it gets that, that, additional three, one, two, three, an additional three, okay? Now that needs an outer wall set up. will be dug out. I just don't need to dig it out right now. So it's not a waste of digging, it's just digging I didn't plan on doing yet. Alright. Now here's the kicker. This is going to be a double wall. And there's a reason behind it.
So everything in the ground right now is a wall. Let's go kill these guys before they come bother me anyway. Okay, so let's dig the second wall. And you'll see why here in a second, why I'm saying a double wall. Let's take care of this one first. So, the reason this is going to be a double wall is this is going to be arrow slits. Do something to stand on here. Alright, so we're going to change this over and go with the arrow slits. weaker than other parts of the walls. So right now they're one, two, three high. Well, we're going six high total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Five, six. Got it. And what's going to happen back here? Put the second wall in. And let's get the bottom of this done. Okay, so darts. We're gonna be, we're gonna get, hopefully get dart boxes. I'm gonna I'll get. I'm planning for it. So because there's gonna be blades, I'm thinking the only two dart boxes we're gonna have be right there and there. Okay. But the others are there for. That's three, four, five, yep, six, good. This room gets totally a roof over it. So we'll go ahead and put it in since I'm up here. And all it needs to do is be wood for right now. And so we can continue, and I can fill this in later. All the all the one taking the cobble. And 
anything supporting needs to be taken to cobble. Okay, so these these are going to be supporting. So we need to let them get the cobble. Okay, I don't have enough stone. One reason we're building right here. Look at that. We got two of these mountains here. We're out of cobble for now, but we will get some more going here. Okay, the next stage. That's just one part. Okay, we are going to be building ramps down. So there's going to be a wall there. Okay, we can fill it in later, but let's put some blocks in there. These are the first supporting walls, is why I'm bringing them out like this. So I can finish filling the rest in later, but what, okay, here's what's got to happen now. I need, I need a way to repair, put it that way, all right, because remember, we're going to have blades in here. What about, okay, where, there, and what about there, all right? Then, like I said, there's going to be one, two, three, hopefully four electric fence wires going across. All right. And then there'll be the darts coming from here. So what will happen is right here will be sensor pads to shoot the two darts. I just put those for looks, but those two don't need, there won't be any darts in those, because I think they would interfere. I mean, there could be on that end one, but I think they would interfere with the blades. I'm, they might not, but this one definitely will. But these might shoot right over it. I'm counting on them to shoot over it. All right, so, and this is going to hang down from the ceiling. All right, and like I said, the, so they're going to come in, get zapped here, get zapped here, get zapped here, and they get zapped here and get caught by the blades, hit, hit the sensors, and get darted. And I'm going to be up there back here, because we're going to extend this out, the roof out further. Okay, I'm going to be back here, because we're going to, in fact, we'll do that right now. And that should hold it. And but this way I can bring that out three more. And then we're gonna our fighting platforms gonna be hanging over them. And then around that's gonna up top is gonna be bars at that at that level. Bars all the way around. Okay. Okay. 
So knowing there's going to be a double layer of bars. So there's a double layer of bars. Then I got to be one, two, three away. Okay, because this is how this works. Because if I do it right, I can usually jump that whole distance if I time it right. Okay, so now I need to change these over to these. So really all you have to do is come up here onto the platform and I can't reach it right now because there's no bars there. So we'll put the double equivalent of double bars right now will be these. There's the equivalent of double bars. This ramp will be permanent. And then all I have to do is get right here or jump it. Like I said, I have jumped it before. And I do it quite often, but I'll tell you what, once you got spikes down there, if you get the timing off, it's a pain. It really is. So you could also fight from here, but you'd be facing the door. Not my intention. not likely to get these on so I need to put that should work it should hold remember this those are only those two things are only a marker for me so I know where to dig again. Because like I said, this has got to have a secondary wall. Like that. See? Told you I could do it. I've done it many times. but <laughs> Because I build this way all the time. This should hold once it's all cobbled. I can't put the bars back here until this Ideally cement, but I don't think we're going to get that far before Horde Day. This is the fighting platform I plan to be, right behind them. Okay? And as I get the roof in here, things will get better. But let's go ahead and get all this at least closed in by one. So you see what you see the point. If everything goes right because they're double walled there, double walled there, double walled in the back, that wall right there is going to be the weak point. And we'll have to put a ladder in there to make them want to come that way. And to make them have to break through the door the hatch. So we, I apologize that this whole episode has been building, but I've got to get this done. And it's a choice of you watch me do it, 
and not learn anything of my ideas, or you don't, like I said, you don't watch me do it, and then you don't, you don't see anything or have, understand why I'm doing anything. Okay. And the whole idea of watching YouTube videos, in my opinion, is to learn something about the game. Maybe a different way of doing things. Okay. So right here, we need to dig around again already. Got a little while. We got a little while still because there's been a lot of fast forwarding as I built things and dug. Hello, how you guys doing down here? Come on, Fatso. Stay down. I'm telling you, stay down. I told you, stay down. You would have made your life easier. in my work. So you're getting the idea of what I'm trying to do? I got how much wood? If you haven't got the idea right there, that's the point where we're going to be trying to get to, to Repair the blades. All right, so that's what this—that's what this tunnels. This tunnels for. 
and it'll be a set of series of ramps in here when I get done. That's not going to work. All right, I'll figure this part out off camera because it's going to take me a while. I know what I and how it has to look. All right, but it'll be a series of ramps in here. And that is because we also have to repair the electrical wires, connection points. Okay? So, as I said, this, the blade's going to be hanging right about here. So, there'll be a block, there'll be a block hanging from the ceiling down to one above this one. And then the blade will hang just above it. So we want right there at about head height. Well, I think we've achieved quite a bit for today, for this episode. I'll do some stuff off camera, but this gives you a good idea what I have planned. And this, then what will happen is this will be the first this will be the magic room, okay? Because we get, we should be able to get everything we need in here. A desk, spell forge, a weaver, and then a potion table eventually. If we can't, then we'll uh, we'll just. And then the third level will be our be the living area and all the all the fabrication area. Or I could turn this into fabrication, which might just work out fine. Hopefully, we're at that point. Okay, did I have any points? We have two points. Now, I put, I need to get, I still can't get a point in archery. Oh, I'm tempted, 60T. Make life a lot easier. But we need to worry about this. I need to get my fire natal. And I need to be able to do my meteor spell. Okay? We've got one point in everything in fire. Now, it seems to be working right. And hopefully we're going to work our way into trap ruining, ruining fire traps. And if ruining fire rich, we'll figure that one out. I haven't, I haven't looked at that yet. Okay, the spell turret will be here, but it's not going to be able to shoot down from up here, and I'm not going to put it down there. That spell turret will be on me, because if I have to hit the running combat, which I have ha done before, I'm going to want it. Okay, so to make sure they can't get up there, you just take those off, and they're done. So that is about 52 minutes of recording, minus all the fast forwarding stuff, so I'm not sure where that's going to be at. So you have a great day and a good night, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.